Have you ever considered how much stuff you really need to be happy? It's a question that might seem simple on the surface, but dig a little deeper and you'll find it's anything but. Welcome to the world of consumerism, a societal phenomenon that has become an integral part of our lives. It's the driving force behind our economies, our lifestyles, and arguably our happiness. At its core, consumerism is the preoccupation with the acquisition of goods and services in ever-increasing amounts. But let's pause for a moment and consider the implications. On an individual level, consumerism often leads to clutter, financial stress, and a never-ending chase for the next big thing. It's a cycle that can feel impossible to break, one where satisfaction is always just one purchase away. And then there's the environmental impact. The production, packaging, and disposal of goods take a toll on our planet. We're depleting resources, polluting the environment, and contributing to climate change at an alarming rate, all in the name of consumption. But what if there was a different way? What if we told you there's a lifestyle that challenges the status quo, that goes against the grain of consumerism? Enter minimalism. It's not just about having less, it's about making room for more, more time, more peace, more experiences. Minimalism is about identifying what truly adds value to your life and letting go of the rest. It's about making conscious, intentional choices about what you bring into your life and what you choose to let go. It's not a destination, but a journey, a continuous process of reassessing and recalibrating. And the best part? Minimalism doesn't demand that you live in a stark white room with a single chair. It's not one size fits all. Your version of minimalism might look different from someone else's, and that's okay. It's a personal journey, one that's unique to you. But is there another way to live, one that doesn't revolve around accumulating stuff? The answer is yes, and it's called minimalism. It's not a quick fix, but a lifestyle change, a shift in mindset. And who knows, it might just be the answer you've been looking for. Meet John a self-made millionaire who lives a minimalist lifestyle. John wasn't always a minimalist. There was a time when he was caught in the consumerist cycle, constantly chasing the latest gadgets, the newest fashion trends, the biggest houses. He found himself working longer hours to afford the lifestyle society had convinced him he needed. But despite his material wealth, John felt a nagging emptiness. One day, John stumbled upon the concept of minimalism. He was intrigued by the idea of living with less and started to question his consumerist lifestyle. He began to wonder if he was living for himself or for the sake of impressing others. This realization triggered a seismic shift in his life. John decided to make a change. He started decluttering his life one item at a time. He sold his flashy car, moved into a smaller house, and donated most of his clothes. He went digital, getting rid of unnecessary physical clutter. He stopped buying things on impulse and started investing in experiences instead. The transformation was remarkable. John found that by owning less, he had more. More time, more money, more peace of mind. He no longer had to work long hours to maintain his lifestyle. He could save more, invest more, and give more. He found joy and simplicity in the space he had created for himself. His relationships improved as he had more time to invest in them. His stress levels went down and his health improved. He discovered passions he never knew he had. His focus shifted from acquiring wealth to building a life of meaning and purpose. John's journey to minimalism didn't diminish his wealth. In fact, it amplified it. It allowed him to redefine what success meant to him. It wasn't about the number of zeros in his bank account or the size of his house. It was about the quality of his life, the depth of his relationships, the impact he could make. John's story shows us that success and wealth don't have to equate to more stuff. His journey serves as a powerful reminder of the freedom, peace, and joy that come with choosing less. It's a testament to the profound impact minimalism can have on our lives. Now, let's take a look at the Smith family, who swapped their suburban home for a minimalist lifestyle. The Smiths, John, Mary, and their two children, Emily and Tim, were once deeply entrenched in the consumerist lifestyle. Their four-bedroom home was filled to the brim with possessions. As Mary puts it, we had so much stuff, we couldn't even remember where it all came from. But then, they discovered minimalism. Intrigued by the idea of living with less, they decided to make a drastic change. 
they sold their home and most of their possessions, choosing to move into a smaller, two-bedroom apartment. The transition, as you can imagine, was not without its challenges. The kids had to part with many of their toys. John had to let go of his extensive book collection, and Mary had to bid farewell to her closet full of clothes. There were disagreements, tears, and second thoughts. But each time the doubts crept in, they reminded themselves of why they started this journey, to find happiness in experiences and relationships, not things. And they did find that happiness. With fewer possessions to manage, they found they had more time, time to spend with each other, time to explore new hobbies, and time to create memories. Instead of spending weekends shopping or cleaning, they began hiking, playing board games, and hosting dinner parties. Their relationships with each other deepened as they spent more quality time together. The benefits of their minimalist lifestyle extended beyond their family unit. They discovered a newfound appreciation for the environment, and their reduction in consumption led to less waste. Their stress levels dropped, and they found themselves more content with their lives. Minimalism, for the Smiths, wasn't about deprivation. It was about making conscious decisions about what truly added value to their lives. It was about choosing quality over quantity, experiences over possessions, and relationships over status. The Smith story shows us that minimalism can be a family affair with benefits for everyone involved. What can we learn from John and the Smiths? What are the benefits of minimalism? The stories of John and the Smiths have revealed some compelling benefits of minimalism. They've shown us how this philosophy, when applied correctly, can lead to a life of greater meaning, purpose, and satisfaction. Firstly, let's talk about financial freedom, a benefit that John very clearly demonstrated. By choosing to live with less, John was able to save more. He wasn't caught in the cycle of earning and spending that so many of us find ourselves in. Instead, he focused on what he truly needed, cutting out unnecessary expenses and thereby accumulating wealth over time. This isn't about being stingy or depriving oneself, but about being mindful of where our money goes and realizing that we often spend on things we don't truly need. The Smiths, on the other hand, highlighted improved relationships as a key benefit of their minimalist lifestyle. With fewer material possessions to maintain and worry about, they found they had more time to spend with each other. They could focus on strengthening their bonds, having meaningful conversations, and creating shared memories. This is a powerful reminder that often, it's not the things we own, but the relationships we foster that bring us the most joy and fulfillment. Finally, both John and the Smiths showed us how minimalism can lead to a greater focus on experiences. By not cluttering their lives with stuff, they were able to focus on doing things rather than having things. They could travel, explore new hobbies, or simply enjoy the beauty of a quiet afternoon. They recognized that experiences, not possessions, are what truly enrich our lives. Minimalism, then, is not just about having less. It's about making room for more. More savings, more meaningful relationships, and more enriching experiences. It's about understanding that the good life is not found in accumulating things, but in appreciating what we have and seeking out experiences that bring us true joy and fulfillment. As we've seen, minimalism has the potential to enhance our lives in many ways. Are you ready to challenge the consumerist mindset and embrace minimalism? Well, hold on to your seats because we're about to embark on a journey that could change your life. It's called the Minimalist Challenge. This challenge is not about stripping away all of your possessions or living like a hermit. It's about understanding what you need and what you don't. It's about decluttering your life, both physically and mentally. The first step is to take stock. Look around your home, your workspace, even your digital space. Identify the items that you haven't used or even thought about in the last six months. These are the items that you can probably live without. The second step is to declutter. This doesn't have to be a drastic overnight process. Start with something small, like a single drawer or a shelf. Remove the items you don't need and organize the items you do. You'll be surprised by how much space you can free up and how satisfying it can be. The third step is to implement a one-in, one-out rule. Every time you bring a new item into your space, get rid of an old one. 
This will help you maintain the balance and prevent unnecessary clutter from accumulating. The fourth step is to appreciate the non-material aspects of life. Spend quality time with loved ones, pursue a hobby, enjoy nature. These experiences can bring far more joy than any material possession. The final step is to practice mindful shopping. Before you purchase something, ask yourself if you really need it. Sleep on it for a day or two. If you still want it after that, then go ahead. But more often than not, you'll find that the urge to buy fades away. Remember, minimalism isn't about deprivation. It's about focusing on what truly matters. So, are you ready to take the minimalist challenge?